Hello, more money magic from me? Couldn't be. This particular ingredient or spell type of thing is really versatile. You can change it up for whatever is your situation. And you know that I love things that are easily adaptable and also just versatile in different spells. So I'm gonna show you how to make this money rice, I guess is what I would call it. Um, I personally like to use three, I guess four main ingredients. And even then you're more than welcome to switch them out. So my biggest ingredient is <laughs> rice course. Rice is really good for abundance and money and wealth, so that's why I use this in money workings. Then I have ground cinnamon, and this is just ground cinnamon I got from the store. Cinnamon's really good for money and luck and wealth, and as well as speed. It brings in your intentions faster and quicker. Then we have sugar, just plain white sugar. I like to add this as well because I find that when you add sugar into your money workings, A, it comes a lot easier, and B, the way that you receive the money, it, there's no turmoil, which depending on the situation, sometimes that can happen. There's no like hard feelings, there's no issues for the most part. Nobody's trying to fight you on giving this money to you. Um, and then the last one is just, it literally says plain salt. <laughs> So just plain white salt, and this is for cleansing uh, your money and cleansing the work. It feels better to add salt just because it's a good cleansing agent and it's a good um, base. So if you do want to leave the rice out, salt is also good, but I highly recommend using rice. Uh, those are our bases, and then you're going to need a bowl to mix everything in. I have this gorgeous bowl that I bought from uh, this woman. She is Sweet Destructor Online this gorgeous pottery artist. Uh, so I'm going to be mixing all of the things in here. And then I also, because I'm not ingesting any of this, I'm not sure why you would, especially if it's salt and sugar, but I also like to use like green food coloring because I like things to look like my intentions. I think when things do look like an intention, it does, it does a little better, but maybe that's just me being an aesthetic hoe. I don't know. So optional, optional things are the green food coloring. I do think that this helps. That's just me. But optional are also any money oils that you'd like to add. You're not going to be using a lot, but if you want to add them, you're more than welcome, as well as any other herbs that you would like to add in there. So the extra herbs, it really just depends on what you're going to be using this money rice for. And for this particular one, because I work as a creative for a living, right? I create videos, I create choreography for dances, I create art. So I want to add creativity where my money comes from. The creativity is how I get my money a lot of the time. So that is what I'm going to add into this spell because for the most part, my finances are coming from creativity. So this is just some orange peels that I've dried and saved. Orange is really good for creativity. It's really good for success. It's really good for uplifting moods, cleansing as well. So this is also helpful. You can add things such as basil or rosemary. You can add things such as Hi John the Conqueror root. If you're really, especially if you're like, I don't know, something like a realtor or something that you kind of have to be a little more competitive in, then High John the Conquer Root would be great. Uh, five Finger Grass is a really popular one. Lemongrass is one that I absolutely love and then might have to go grab from my apothecary. Chamomile is wonderful and dandelion are all fantastic options. Of course, do your research on what herbs would fit best for you, but at the end of the day, this basic of just rice, cinnamon, sugar and salt will do you pretty well. Otherwise, I'm gonna mix this up and there you have it. That is my money rice recipe. Again, you can change it up depending on your situation. So if I was making this for a different person, especially that is not um, working for creative endeavors, I probably wouldn't worry too much about putting the creative pieces in there. I'd probably put more 
heavy intensive things such as hydron the conqueror root or five finger grass or lemongrass put different herbs in there that correspond best with that person's goals with their aspirations and how they want to receive the money this ended up especially <laughs> with this particular food coloring that i used it ended up looking usually it's much darker much greener but this one actually ended up looking very like mossy and I kind of like it. It looks like it looks like moss with like little bits of rocks or something in it. And so I don't know. That's just this neon one is just the one that I had on hand. So it turned out to look a little bit different than usual, but it gives me very like fey vibes, which I'm totally here for. So let's talk about how we want to use this. First of all, you want a clean and cleansed jar that you can put all of it in, label it. I would label it and you can either write on the jar or have something like a piece of paper in the jar that says your ingredients so that you don't forget if this is your first time making your own. Make sure to date it, label it, and that is how you can store it. Or if you're going to use it straight away, you can fill your money bowl with it. It's great, putting coins in it looks really nice, as well as making things like money packets, so things such as this where you can carry it with you. Or if you decide to do some kind of money spell, money working with a large candle. You can put this rice around the the candle in order to charge it and add power to that. As well as you can also sprinkle it over your doorstep, especially if you own a business. Another thing that is a really good ingredient that I didn't put in this one in particular just because I didn't have it on hand is either dirt from a bank or a gas station. Now, why a gas station, right? Obviously the bank because money comes in, but that I think is really specific for saving money because banks do bring in a lot of money and they hold it for the most part. Whereas gas stations, there's money going in and out. It's also a very good idea to add a little bit of dirt in there because dirt magic is underrated. But that's pretty much the recipe. It's super easy. It usually smells pretty good. And this one, because of the orange peel, it smells very like springy and fresh and that's what I want that's what I want for this particular one and for my particular situation so if you end up adding anything different that I did not specify in here I'd love to know what uh your adaptation was and what you're using it for if you are interested in sharing. You can also use the hashtag Wonderlust Coven if you wanna share it with me and everybody else who is on Instagram. I follow that tag so I usually see a lot of your workings that you share with me and it's wonderful. That is all that I have for you today and as always, thanks so much for watching. Best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you've treated others. <laughs>